Hi everyone, my name is Roxy and how many times have you heard your friends say all I want for Christmas is my Hogwarts acceptance letter? Well, in this video I want to show you how to do one and also how to do some Harry Potter inspired gifts perfect for your Potterhead friends. And now let's start. And let's start with the letter. First of all, you have to print it and in the description box I'm gonna leave you the file that I used. That you can also modify and put your name. To make the letter look more yellowish, you have to put it in black tea or coffee and leave it there for 20 minutes. Then transfer the letter on a baking pan on top of some baking paper and put it in the oven for 5 or 10 minutes at 375 degrees Fahrenheit, checking the letter often, you don't want to burn it. After that, if it's too wrinkly, you can iron it, but put on top of the letter a shirt or a piece of fabric to protect it. Then put all the sheets together fold it and make it as flat as possible and now let's make the envelope to make the envelope i printed first an envelope template and then just the hogwarts seal on another piece of paper i cut out the template and then i put it on top the other piece of paper and i cut out the shape again i use the template as a guide to fold the envelope, then I separated the two pieces of paper and I made the envelope yellow using the T method again. Then I put the envelope together with a little bit of hot glue and I put a baking sheet in the middle so the front part of the envelope doesn't stick to the back. Then I removed the waxed paper, I put the letter in and I closed the envelope. And now, if you want, let's make the seal. Cut a potato like this and then with a knife or a pen recreate the Hogwarts symbol or just an H. Then melt a red candle on top of the envelope like this, press with your potato, wait that the wax is completely dry, remove the potato and that's it. Practice a few times and it's gonna be perfect. Another essential part of this gift is the train ticket that I made yellow using again the T method and then I cut it out like this and that's it. This is super simple. And then I made a wand. The best thing to make a wand is to use chopsticks and decorate them with a little bit of hot glue. You can make any design you want. I decided to make this spiral design. When the glue is completely dry, you can spray paint your wand and this is the final result. If you're going to attend Hogwarts, for sure you need something to write with, so I decided to use these plastic feathers to make a pen. I cut out the end of the feather, then I opened a ball pen, I removed the inside, I cut it out, I painted it black because my feather was black, and then I added a little bit of hot glue and I pushed the pen inside the feather because these plastic feathers are empty in the middle. And that's it. Then I grabbed a white mug and a ceramic pen and I made a Harry Potter inspired design. When the design is done, check the instructions on your ceramic pen and mine said that I have to air dry the mug for 8 hours and then bake it for 40 minutes at 355 degrees Fahrenheit 
without preheating the oven and when it's done remove the mug only when it's back to room temperature and now it's soap proof now put everything in a box and i decided to add some glass bottles and containers for potions some labels and also some super small glass bottles and if you want to make a potion i suggest you to just mix glitters acrylic paint and some school glue and this is the result. You can also add a Hogwarts tie. I'm gonna leave you the tutorial in the description box. And if you recreate any of these, tag me in your pictures at RoxyRoxTV. Let me know clicking on the eye which one is your Hogwarts house. As always, I say hi to all the people who tweeted me and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Mwah.